Alright, so we're gonna react to um YFL yeah. YFL Woody responding to Charles and White dissing his I'm hoping not, but apparently Charles and White was on social media getting hella disrespectful about um Woody's daughter, you know, calling her special ed and everything, which I don't always feel like you as a grown man, if you got a problem with another grown man, bro, I don't feel like you should be bringing the kids into this shit, you feel me? Your problem is not with the kid, but then again, Charlton White is the type of nigga that will say and do anything to get under a nigga's skin and to get him to, you know, um, out of character type shit, you feel me? So, we gonna see, we gonna see what this is. Go, go. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Man, y'all tuning in to Get Hip TV. As y'all can see from the title, we got Woody responding to Charleston White speaking on his daughter. It's sad to say that this is even a topic, but it is. So, man, we're going to dive into this situation. Then I'm going to let y'all see how Woody responded to it. So, man, stay tuned for that. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay hip to whenever I post. But all right, y'all, let's get into it. So, as y'all know... Woody and Charleston White has recently collabed with each other a lot as of late, and Woody looked at Charleston as a friend, but then spoke out and said how he was hurt to see that Charleston spoke against him in interviews and online. But Woody looked past that and continued to collab with Charleston, but fast forward to now, Charleston has not only been talking about Woody, but now has been disrespecting his family. Charleston made jokes about Woody's daughter being disabled, and we're not gonna show that because we don't support that on this channel, but we do support how Woody responded to the situation. If y'all not hip, Woody has been attending church and God teaches us the spirit of forgiveness and recently Woody showed that even in this tough situation. Woody went live to address the situation, but he also put out a story post saying, he's everything to me. My daughter is the reason I'm letting y'all live and she's the reason I'm never going back into the past. I love my princess. And he followed up with saying, Charleston White, when you get that hate out your heart, we can get back to the money. So that's what Woody had to say. And he had some more to say on live. I'm gonna roll the clip and I'm gonna let y'all see it. When you when you when you know people that feed off attention, you ignore them, just make them go. I control that boy. They put, like I, I, whatever, I, I control him. Whatever I want him to do, he gonna do it. I ain't gotta feed it to that. I did exactly what I wanted to do. He hoping that he hoping that he trolling me. He go viral. Then people can cuss in him. Paying your bills on time raises your credit score, right? Wrong. In fact, this is one of the three. You know, a little two, three thousand dollars for a little interview. I own Charleston White. Words don't get me, man. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta go past it. Y'all gotta be able to see a sucker like that. Well, if you know he could get to you, he gonna try everything. You're talking about my child. Man, look, I'm not sure what sparked this whole hatred or did did whatever between them two, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I did kind of find it. At the time when this shit was going on, like when I started seeing videos and like of uh, Charleston and Woody together, I kind of found I found it kind of odd. Like, like, why are you making videos with Charleston? Like, like, like it just didn't fit to me. It just didn't fit. Like, it didn't fit the scenario. It didn't fit what the fuck you know they had going on. Like, Charleston White, the person that got what famous off of. Calling the cops on on active people, calling the uh, CPS on on people's kid. Um, what? Uh, get every time he had a job, that nigga found a way to to slip and fall or do some bullshit to make some money off of them. So it was just kind of odd that Woody would make would make content with Charlton, just knowing off of like with Charlton content, like you know what he mainly stand for. Like honestly, like to me. I get it if you got a message for the youth or you got a message for, you know, the older people or whatever. But it's just how Charleston go the body, bro. And I had said this in one of my live streams. I'm like, bro, straight up, a lot of niggas that make threat to Charleston White are the niggas that be, like, 
for example, like the nigga that made threat to Charlton White, these niggas done spent how many years in prison? You feel me? So I so to me, I feel like they're not even really trying to be on that type of time. And it's just like, bro, we want you to watch your mouth. You feel me? Because they could really get ugly out here. And Charlton tend to show them like, bro, I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. You feel me? And I said this, I'm like, see, he saying this to a lot of, you know, young niggas, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, niggas that already been through something, niggas that already learned, you know, from their mistake. And I was like, bro, if this nigga had ran into, like, one of them young niggas that ain't have shit to lose, that one of them real crash out niggas, Charles White would not be here right now. And it's just so, like, at this point, to me, it's like saying, bro, Charlton was in his feelings about something about Woody because you as a grown man, why not sit here and just take the shot, like, just take shots at the grown man, like, just talk mad shit about the grown man. But you want to be so, so, uh, so spiteful, so hatred, and you want to talk about, well, that's why Woody got a, that's, you, look, uh, a, a, a special, like, come on, bro. My daughter, she then college. She graduated college at six. Like, all right, bro. That's like, all right. That's cool and all. But why do you need to bring the next man's kid down, bro? Like, Charlton White, the type of nigga to throw rocks and hide his hands, bro. You ain't never said anything to me. That was, that's different between me. Like, I know these niggas be saying it on the internet. They won't say that right here where I can put my hands on the car. I drop his head. <laughs> <laughs> like a bad head. They gotta be a little time, eight year old. Um, so if you say somebody, he say you own somebody, clearly that's the only way you think. That's how your, your mind operates. So that means is exactly what you're saying. What the hell? As the niggas, they going, to the, they going down there with us. What's the name? I ain't trying to be in there all night. What? In the field? <laughs> Man, y'all play some wood. Tell all them bitches to the hoes to follow me. <laughs> Man, it made me yell, man. <laughs> Would you ever deal with Tasha right again? Yeah, when he grow up, I'm unbothered, man. My little girl happy. She's a beautiful baby. She's she to have the best, amazing personality to ever. You gonna worry about some some miserable little man saying, "Man, you crazy." Let me show you why I stopped paying for all my other sample libraries. This is Arcade by Output. This thing has sound, sound. Aha! Oh, freaking watching. <laughs> I sure as hell didn't measure to look still. I ain't going back and forth with nobody. The world can say whatever they want to say. Exactly. Last food we tried to roll up me and my daughter's eye more got dealt with. <laughs> Lock if you ain't gonna do the crib, lock, you can't get on my live, man. Look now, I'm in here. What's wrong with her? Big girl kind here with a thin shirt on, no bow. I'm cold, I ain't gonna lie to you. I would try to play, I would try to play hard. I know she cold. We all we can do is for, is it for him is pray. See what he want y'all to, he want what he trying to do, provoke me. He can try to tell everybody, I told y'all he ain't changed. I still gonna beat him in his own game, stupid. He trying to tell y'all that I ain't changed person. Ah, he can't get hit to me. Don't add nobody. I love y'all back. I love, I still love Charles White too. Me, my family, my daughter, her family, ain't none of us tripping about nothing that fool said. I'm inside. I said, come in. Boy, eight people in there, stop playing. She 
sure do. That day gonna come. It never will. Just have patience. Everybody ready to leave, everybody. Say, Mook, too. What's up, bro? Hey, Tell Mook, you right there and they come behind me. It's, yeah, technically, let go. Grandma Alabama is here. Keep for sure. I'm glad God did the work on you. Your is beautiful. Thank you. Baby, you see that little thing? Can I see it on it? Can you talk to me like that now? This nigga look like he's having more fun with the people in the in the chat than just addressing the whole Charles and White shit because in all reality it what I'm the only thing I'm getting from this shit is like bro Charles and White tried to trick me out of my out of my spot. It didn't work. Now he big mad. It is what it is. Whenever he decided to come to his fence his senses, uh we could we could make more money, I guess. But in reality, bro, I don't even think Let's just say Woody do got love in his heart for for Charlton and and whatever the case is. I don't think you should go back and make content with this nigga because for a nigga to sit here and and disrespect your daughter, bro, your offspring, it's not it's not cool, bro. It's not cool. You feel me? Like it don't matter what what the circumstances, bro. It don't matter how mad you is. You you. A lot of y'all probably condone this shit, a grown ass man making fun of another man daughter being special. But in reality, bro, that is just the lowest of the lowest, bro. Like you just have no moral, bro. You you really don't. What's going on? Yep. Yeah. On Instagram, they let me die back. Oh, damn, Turkey. <laughs> Come on, let one of us have cut cuffs. I thought you, we bought it right on. Yeah, I'm about to cut cuffs. Hold on, watch the cuffs. My phone on like 4%, it's gonna go dead while we know. For sure. Y'all be saying it like nigga, hey. Stupid. They said what? They said like we beat you. Nah, nah, it's my free Jeff. Who wanted me there? We said the same thing. What's up? Let's do it, yo. Did I get the video? Come on, I ain't gonna keep waiting on them, man. I was part of it by far. So I got the video. Ooh. Are you saying to me poke him? If you get injured in an accident, even... All right, man, straight up. I ain't really get too much out of that besides... I don't even know if he really addressed, uh, addressed any, well, he didn't really say much besides just like, nigga, it is what it is, you mad, you trying to trick me out of my spot, it's not happening, find something else to do, uh, whenever you stop being that little, uh, small syndrome baby, whatever shit, holler at me type shit, but, man, I'm gonna catch on the next one, y'all stay safe, stay out the way, and one. Hold up.